Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Uh, the other day I was at a yard sale here in Maine and I picked myself up a old used Motorola phone. Got it for 25 cents. So I figured I'd bring it home. Gonna put CPU multi miner on it. I'm gonna be mining garlic coin and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Um, so without further ado i'm going to get right into it and then we'll talk about garlic coin a little bit um as we go along but um i'm going to bring you right to my desktop i'm going to ssh into this phone we're going to upload cpu multi miner we're going to be mining garlic coin which the algorithm for garlic coin is allium so this is something new for you guys you're going to be mining with the algorithm allium and you're going to be mining Garlic coin, which the the little letters are G R L C, and uh, I have a garlic coin node on my computer. That's where I got my address. So if you guys want to know where to get the address, I I got it directly from the garlic coin um, page. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring that up there too, so you guys can go right to the garlic coin page, find out all about it, and. I figured 25 cents, I'm going to put this on garlic coin and uh, let it mine. All right, without further ado, let's get right to the desktop. Let's get this thing up and running on CPU miner and get it onto a pool mining garlic coin. All right, so I've got to go number two over here, bring this over. i got to add in garlic coin over here. Um, garlic coin right there. Let's see, garlic coin home, right here, garliccoin.io. So anyways guys, you can go to this website right here and find out all about garlic coin. And this is where I got my um, software for the garlic coin node. And my garlic coin node is um, fully synced. And that's where I got my license. I mean, not my license, but my address. So just keep in mind. If you get your address from the garlic coin node, you will not receive any garlic coin until it's fully synced. Okay, keep that in mind. All right, let's go down here. I'm gonna SSH into my phone, which everything just crapped out on me here. What happened? There we go, now I'm back. Now I'm gonna SSH. 192.168. I think it was 34. Oh boy, I should have wrote it down. My port is 2022. Let's see if it was right. Yes, it was right. Thank you. And user land. And what was the... It was uh, F E. I think that's a zero. Zero. B A Z S N. See if that's it. Yes, I'm in. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna of course do the old pseudo pseudo apt update Zingo. Let that work. You guys can uh, fast forward if you want, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to leave it running. Oh, it's already done. So I'm going to, now I'm going to go sudo app. Uh, upgrade. I can lie. Let it load all the packages. Bing it a bang it a boom. Yeah, wish it was that easy. Anyways, guys, um, garlic coin. Let me just, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to show you a couple things in here. Um, what I did is I hit get started. All right, and I went right down here to which I, I used the garlic coin um, core. And there's the downloads, and I did this one right here, and it took about two days for the core to uh, fully sync up. That's two days of the computer running 24/7, and the core did uh, finally sync completely up. But you got all kinds of uh, different flavors here you can try out. All right. Now uh, we can go back home. 
and this is the wrapped G, um, garlic coin and it uses either the Ethereum or the BSC um, networks and what I do is um, when I get my garlic coin I bring it over to the fry exchange and they do have garlic coin on there for uh, trades and deposit and withdrawals withdrawals so on and so forth and what have you so this is what I use is I use the fry exchange but how are we doing here oh 29 percent all right what else can I talk about oh let's go over to the this is the pool that I'm going to be mining on uh, mine.collective.b.net um, whatever just it's in you only got one choice it's Toronto Canada uh, put in garlic coin put in your garlic coin address name your phone create the string and this is what you will put into um, CPU miner multi right here and we'll be mining garlic coin and that's Allium. How are we doing? Oh, 54 cent. Oh, I got to talk for another 49 percent. What else can we show you? Uh, oh, let's go down here. This is the um, route I'm taking right here. I did the sudo app update. I did the upgrade. Uh, next, I'm going to be loading up my different libraries. And then we're going to get CPU Miner Multi, and we're going to CD into it. We're going to build it. We're going to configure all the flags, and then I'm going to make a nano file so that uh, in case the phone, this phone, it loves to crash. Um, again, guys, don't ever get yourself a uh, Motorola uh, X2413V. They're crap. That's why I got it for 25 cents. But it's good enough to mine garlic coin. Let's see how I'm doing. Hey, I'm ready. All right, guys, we are ready to go. Don't worry about this. That is that is just a cross-link malfunction. Um, all right, I am going to do this one next. Uh, copy. I love SSH and into phones. It makes it so easy. It doesn't, it, guys. Just freaking highlight, copy, pop it right into your phone. No more. Tippity tippity type type type. Now, CPU minor multi can be stubborn to be put onto an Android phone. So I might have to do these a couple of these um, steps a couple of times to get the stupid thing to, to load properly, but it will load. But this is usually the route I take right here. One through seven. Sometimes I do seven before the six, sometimes I do it after, so on, so forth, and what have you. And my big problem is, is after I do clone in to uh, CPU Minor Multi, I don't change my directory, so I gotta keep my, I gotta give myself a, uh, a reminder here saying, hey, dumbass, before you hit the build.sh and it fails, change your directory. I don't know how many times I've almost thrown a phone across the freaking whole garage here because I haven't changed the directory and I'm trying to build, you know, user land. And user land is like, what are you trying to do, dumbass? I don't have, I don't have that here. I, I can't build anything. Hey, here we go. All right, now let's clone into it. Oh my gosh, I got a toothache. Here we go. Probably why I'm rambling. Boom, ba, 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 ba. Okay, Gary, after you get this CD over into multi minor, here we go. Copy. Enter. There we go. Now let's, let's just check and see what we got in here. All right, so we do not have CP. Um, CPU miner in here yet. It's not highlighted green, so it is not executable. So, what we do next is I'm going to try the build.sh. Sometimes it says, you can't do that. Yeah, no. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, it's working. Sorry. 
It's working. It's just cleaning up its environment. Clean, clean, clean. And then what I do, as soon as this gets done loading up, I'll LS into CPU Miner Multi again and see if CPU Miner has um, highlighted green. And that means it's executable. Sometimes you don't even have to go to this next step. It depends on your phone. I, I, it's just weird how some of these, uh, these GitHub ones work. Some phones can, you know, decipher what GitHub is trying to say. Other ones you have to coax it a couple times. You got to do build sh a couple times, do a configure a couple times. Okay, let's ls and see if CPU miner is there. Okay, it is not here. It is not executable. So let's move on to number seven. Sometimes number seven will say, I can't do that. Oh, it's doing it. Do, 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 do. Sometimes you got to do six, then seven, and then do six again before CPU miner will show up highlighted green. That's the key to it, guys. If you see CPU miner and it's highlighted green, that means you don't have to go any further. Because it's now executable and your miner will work. Nah. Hey, have you guys been uh, doing any mining on my uh, on my node, my ESP coin node? I got a lot of people in there. They're having a lot of fun mining a lot of crypto. Granted, yes, it's just a test net, but there's a lot of guys in there. They're they're learning about crypto and having a ball in there on the node that I developed. Here we go. LS. And is it there? CPU Miner, we are in business right there. Look at that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight and copy. Copy. I'm going to, where am I going? I'm going to go back here and I am going to say, uh, let's see, dot forward slash CPU Miner. And then I'm going to paste. And let's see. And we are mining. Look at that, guys. What is that? Phone number. Yeah, phone number one. We'll have to. We'll check the. Uh, we'll check this website here in a second. In fact, I can go like this. Pink. And I'll bring this one up. I'll bring that down. No, it goes up full. this over pink okay so let me grab grab my wallet address copy and go to wallet and put my wallet address in it and see if it found me submit dink -a dink go right there phone number one and it, that green check mark means that you are good to go. It loves your algorithm and it is mining. It usually takes somewhere around 24 hours actually to uh, start showing up here. All right. But if you look over here, we got an accepted share. So it is happy. The, the pool is very happy with you. I'm going to refresh. And let's go down here. Yep, there's your hash rate right there. You are hashing at 57 kilohashes. You are mining garlic coin with the algorithm of Elium. All right, I'm going to come back and talk my way out.
Alright guys, hey, if you like that video, see how, see how super easy it is to upload CPU minor multi as long as you know the exact format to go. You do that, and, and sometimes guys, like I said, you got to back up and build and then go to the um, the curl lib, lib thing again and then try and go back and then keep on LSing in there and eventually that CPU miner will show up. But apparently this phone loved it. It did it first time. You do those seven steps and you've got CPU miner multi on your phone and the eighth step, you're mining on multimine.b, whatever, mining garlic coin. Like, subscribe, um, uh, leave comments down below, and buy me a coffee. Support my channel so I can go out here and buy these 25 cent phones. <laughs> All right, see you guys on the next one. I got to go see a dentist. Oh, it was Starburst and Jolly Ranchers, like Taffy, and I think I pulled a, pulled a filling out way back in my mole. Bye-bye.